Doug Whitman, um, recently moved down to the Outer Banks, recently hired by Kitty Hawk Kites to, at this point, help manage this particular shop, and I will be working in the new shop at the Kitty Hawk Kites Resort in Rhode Island. The number one asked question is, how long have I been kiteboarding? I mean, that's what I get most, literally, all the time. How long have you been kiteboarding? Um, I've been kiteboarding, got almost five and a half years. Um, but scratch a year and a half out of that due to employment. I'd met them a couple years ago, and I, once again, just like I was just just referring to, customer service that that I received when I came here was just it was genuine. There's no ego involved. I mean, everybody here was genuine, and they, they really wanted to, to get to know me. They wanted to see where I was at with my ability level. I was asking questions, looking for help um, as far as my riding is concerned, and everybody was uh, more than willing to, to help me out with that. Um, and that's how I want to be with. The students that I teach myself, that's it's my same philosophy. You know, I'm no better than anybody else, but I want you to have a good time, learn the sport safely, and uh, and progress. And that seems to be the philosophy of Kitty Hawk Kites. And that's once again that's that's shown in the success rate of our students. And for me personally, that's just a company that, that I want to be that I want to represent, help represent. It, it's to me, it's a positive influence in the sport of kiteboarding. And uh, why go anywhere else when you can come here and, and have great customer service, have a good time, have it be genuine, and excel at the sport that you love. So that's that's what it took for me to come here. It was a job offer, and I gladly accepted. I feel extremely fortunate to be in this position. Um, once again, it's the, the guys and girls at the shop have the same ideals that I do, so it's a perfect fit for me. It was easy. The Outer Banks is the mecca. It is the mecca of kiteboarding, um, especially on the East Coast. I mean, I'm not going to say that this is the best spot in the world, but it's, in my opinion, it's one of the best spots in the world. Um, you know, for the most part, it's a very laid-back atmosphere. The wind blows, you know. For the most part, people are chill. And uh, what better spot than either the sound to practice wake style or freestyle? You know, you got that right there, and you could literally walk <laughs> across the street. <laughs> when it's blowing a different wind direction and ride the waves. I mean, how many places are like that that, I, that anybody knows of? There's a few out there, but it's not the Outer Banks, you know? Representing 252, the full effect down here, that's what it's all about. Brand loyalty in kiteboarding. As a matter of fact, more brand loyalty in kiteboarding than I've ever seen in any other sport that I'm involved in, which would be wakeboarding, snowboarding, um, surfing, skateboarding, and uh, fishing. Um, for me, I like Flux Foil. That's it. Plain and simple. I think they make great products and I like them. And I, I feel that uh, the tattoo that's going to be on my back that says Flex Foil will represent my, my passion for the company. I think, they, uh, I think they rock. My number one interest outside of kiteboarding is fishing. 100%. When the wind doesn't blow, I'm out there trying to do what I love to do, and that's fish, man. I'm all about it. Check out jrwfishing.com, and uh, you'll see where that stems from. Um, I've, I've grown up doing that, and it's, once again, I'm an outdoors person. I love being around the water, and uh, as I said, when the wind doesn't blow, the first thing I'm looking to do is get out there and try to catch a couple fish. My, my primary goal for students that come here to Kitty Hawk Kites is, first of all, to have a good time. I mean, you know, if they're coming here to take lessons, they're spending money. Whenever someone is spending money to get into an outdoor sport, I want them to have fun. I want them to get their money's worth. Um, I want them to learn the sport in, a, in an extremely safe manner. That's what we focus on here, is, is safety and having fun. And at the same time, I want the students to be able to progress. I mean, I, I want them to understand the sport as best they can through our instructors. I want our, our students to leave their lesson, whether it be a first round lesson or a camp, with a great idea of what the sport of kiteboarding is all about. Um, I want them to have an experience that they that leaves an impression on them that they will not forget, as it was for my first kiteboarding lesson. Um, and overall, I want them to come back 
and I want them to keep in touch. I mean, the students that, that come here, I, I, I literally make friends with them. I mean, I keep in touch with them, you know. When, they're, when their lesson's over, I'm like, you know, when you get home, continue, you know. Stick with it. Give me a call and let me know what's up. Let me know how you're doing. You know, contact me with any questions. Um, I want the students to, to, to stay involved in the sport. You know, I mean, this sport isn't for everyone, but the students that do come through here that are fired up and have a great time and, and learn as much as they can and leave here with a smile, and, you know, that's that's what it's all about. It's, it's, they're, they're learning the sport that I love so much, and they can they understand after their first lesson why I do what I do. I just let people know that it's something that I love to do, and I think that uh, anybody that's seriously interested in it should follow through with it. You know, just stay focused. And after they, when they're taking a lesson or afterwards, if they didn't pick it up right away, patience, patience is key. But to keep coming back.